What's going on guys, King Draken here. Today I'll be showing you how to create graphic designs similar to this one you see here. If you're a fan of mine on Facebook, then you've seen this before and it is one of the most requested uh, videos uh, in recent times. So I figured I'll go ahead and show you guys how I got it done. But first things first. In order to do this, you will need an image editor software that allows you to work with layers as well as a, a select tool similar to this one. It's commonly referred to as the magic wand tool. Uh, what this allows you to do is select multiple areas of the of an image and be able to edit that out to later on. I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. I'll be working with Macromedia Fireworks 8. Uh, yes, it's a very old software, but it's what I have. Um, you can also use GIMP if you do not have Photoshop. GIMP is a free software available online. You can Google it and find it, download, and follow along. Now, the, your interface will be different um, if you're using a different software, uh, but as long as you get the concept of what I'm doing, you should be okay. Now, first things first we're gonna find our image well let's go ahead and create a new a new document a new canvas that we can work on uh, let's make it the same 780 by 480 and now that that's done we're gonna go find our image now if whatever uh, website you're in, whatever game you're trying to take the image from, um, an easy way to do it to get a very good quality image is to make sure the quality is set to as high as possible. In this case, in Epic Duel, it's best. Um, I believe Ninja Saga is the same thing, but if you're playing a different game, just make sure it's set to the highest quality possible. Um, and just zoom in by holding down the control button and rolling your mouse button forward if you don't have that button on your mouse uh, you can hold down the control button and press the plus button on your keyboard and that will zoom in the page just like this now you can zoom in for as long as you need to get that image really big Now for Flash games, apparently, or at least Epic Duel, you cannot zoom in on the actual thing, so you have to zoom in on the um, web page itself, not the Flash document. So here we have a decent uh, size image. Um, next we're going to copy this image, and the way we do that is to press the print screen button on the keyboard. Um, for some of you it might say print screen, for some of you it might say PRT, SRC or something like that or SCR. Just go ahead and press that button and what that does is make a complete copy of the entire screen the instant you press that button. Now we're going to go back to our image editor software, right click and click paste. I give it a second here. Actually, I should have done this in a different uh, thing. So let's undo this. Let's control Z to undo that. And I'll open up a new thing with the uh, width and height of the entire screen that I just copied. And I'll just zoom out, paste it. And what I'll do here um, is simply crop what I want from what I don't want. All right and once that's cropped I can go about getting rid of the background now if you can um, it's best to take the image uh, or take the picture of uh, of your character or whatever it is with a plain background as you can see this background has a bunch of different patterns um, this makes it more difficult in order to uh, get rid of the background so you only have the character um, but if you have a plain background like for example a background with the color gray or something um, or mostly the color gray then you can get rid of the majority of that background 
easily uh, but using the magic wand tool we can up we can scale our tolerance up and down in order to increase the area which is selected let's undo that and reduce the tolerance and now you see it select less of the area so we're going to just select um, around the object that we want it appears that 15 tolerance is uh, quite good for this particular image so I'm just going to you're just going to be doing this until you select everything outside of the image you want Now this may be a little bit time consuming so I will skip the video forward or at least fast forward it uh, just to save time so all right so now that we've gotten the majority of our uh, of our image selected or the majority of the portion of the image we do not want uh, we can go ahead and simply click the delete button and this will erase everything that has been selected everything we do not want so from here we'll simply click select and deselect what we've already selected and now we simply erase everything that we do not want that is on the very outskirts of what we've already uh, deleted uh, so simply erase all of this so we don't need this and erase this okay and erase this now to make it easier um, what you can do is change the color of the background of the actual canvas itself so we're gonna change that color to something else let's choose red actually let's choose that and now you can see that there are some blue specks around it uh, that we can that we'll need to get rid of let's choose okay that seems good enough all right so we're going to zoom in and remove those blue specks erase tool Now you don't have to get rid of every single spec that you see um, because we'll do some stuff later on with it like add some glow that will use that usually overrides um, the specs so they're not entirely visible so we're just taking out the main stuff like you see here there's a nice uh, well, a pretty obvious blue spot so we'll just delete that with the magic wand tool again. Alright, deselect. And we continue erasing. zoom out a little bit and from here we're just going to use the magic wand tool just to save time because it's been going on for a little while and we haven't even gotten into the main portion yet but you've pretty much got the idea so I'll zoom I'll fast forward this video and 
get into the good stuff. Alrighty, so now we've got a crisp and clean looking uh, image aside from these specs right there that are clearly visible. Okay, so now we've basically got a very well, um, a very well cleaned up image. So now the next step is to simply copy this image and go back to our canvas that we're working on. Let's change the background color to black and simply paste it. And from here we can uh, manipulate it some more. We can use the transform to reduce the size. Um, I'll reduce it numerically uh, by 50%. Uh, that's a little too small. Let's um, let's try 80%. Okay, 80% looks good. Now, now we have our image. Uh, as you can see, you can barely see the smudges, but we can even take this a little further and add a filter to it which would be the shadow and glow and a glow and this is another way to spot mistakes in the image if you add a glow and you see all these other stuff that means there are elements within that image that were not erased so we can simply take our erase tool and erase it That looks good enough. Alright, so back to the glow, we can. Oh, you probably can't see this because it's off the. Uh, it's off a little, so. Let's try to. Let's try to do something here. Let's just raise this up. Alright, so back in the glow uh, we can reduce this we can change the color uh, let's go with one of the themes from this image so let's select that color eh, that doesn't look too well select the green okay that looks fine let's reduce the uh, glow some more increase 50% back down to 25% that seems good we can even forget about that alright so we can add some more effects especially like a background to this so it doesn't just look like a black uh, background um, here I'll just copy the lightning effect from the other image uh, you can search Google for other background images and I'll make a new layer and name this art uh, and name this background lock that one so I don't affect it in any way and we'll simply add the lightning image to the background and as you can see you can shift and position it any way you want um, but the cool thing we're gonna do here is add an uh, a 
faded out effect to it. Uh, there are several ways you can do this. Uh, you can use the ellipse tool um, or any other uh, shape tool here and simply make a very large ellipse or shape. And then we're going to use gradients, uh, prefer preferably the radial, and set them both to black. And then we're going to make the inner one opacity zero. So that gives a nice faded out effect. All right, so that's one way of doing it. Um, another way of doing it, especially if you're going to do the, let's do that. All right, especially if you're going to do the uh, linear gradient, uh, you can simply select the image you want to work on, select this add mask button, then over here we're going to select the marquee tool and simply drag over the entire area we want to affect with what we're going to do next okay and keep in mind this will only affect the image you've selected over here in the layers all right so from here we're going to click this button make sure it selects uh, gradient tool and then here we're going to, in the presets, select uh, black white. All right? Okay. All right. So then we're going to simply drag from where we want the image to fade out from, up to where we want it to stop fading. So we're going to drag from about here up to about there, and it fades out uh, in that direction. Now we can do the same in any direction and it'll fade out that way or that way. So you pretty much get the idea. All right, so I just made a mistake. It's currently set to radial. We can, we should uh, set that to linear in order to get the complete effect that we're looking for. Okay, see, so it it fades out in that direction across the entire image. All right, so that looks nice uh, for that. Uh, next, we're going to add some uh, text, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, simply select the text tool. Oops, wrong image. Simply select the text tool, uh, click anywhere in the image, and type whatever you want. And then you can choose whichever text uh, font you want, the uh, font size, the color, bold, italic, underline, all that other good stuff. And one thing I like about uh, fireworks is that you can also edit how far apart each letter is from each other. That's pretty cool. Um, as well as the height of the image. Apparently it does, it's not working right now. Oh, I know why. Uh, for a second line, if we had a second line tutorial... Um, this will increase the space between the lines. Okay. Um, let's see what else. This increases the width of the entire text. So it treats it as an actual image, even though it's an editable text. You can continue to edit it. Um, okay, so let's remove tutorial. Uh, King Draken. That seems good enough. Let's reduce the size a bit. 25 seems good. And let's select a color here. Green seems nice. And I forgot to show you guys, but you can also edit the hue of this image in the filters. You would 
uh, adjust the color hue and saturation and simply drag the hue bar over until you get whatever color you're looking for in this case I'm looking for a nice green or light green there we go just to match the other green uh, I'm about close to it right there okay so that looks decent um, we're going I'm just going to reduce the opacity for this a little bit so the actual image stands out more and you can ah another thing I wanted to show you is the faded out effect for that uh, let's let's uh, minimize the background and open the art so we can edit it alright so I'm going to bring this down a little bit all you sim all you do to get that effect is simply copy the image you want to uh, make fade out and paste it and you have a duplicate right um, so from there you simply increase the size of it in this case I'm using numeric transform and I'll make it a solid 200 percent alright and then we're gonna drag it behind that one and simply fade it out using the opacity uh, 30 percent okay 30 percent is not that good that's a good percentage alright so that's a nice faded out effect could even uh, so that looks decent enough um, let's drag let's add a little uh, shape here behind the original image so as to simply hide the um, faded out thing in the back all right, so it's not that obvious now. Um, can even add a gradient to it. Let's make, let's drag this down a bit. And let's make that a black and reduce the opacity to zero. So it has a nice fade out, faded out effect. Great, and increase the size to about 50 all right so the background isn't all that obvious there um, but it is obvious here so let's drag this King Drake and above that all right there you have it could even add a soft glow to this like I did before um, but this time a little softer well that's pretty much all for this video I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it found it helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up. This is King Draken, and I'll see you guys another time.